Bob Lydon believes myopia at the credit rating agencies has opened up several channels for Rachel Reeves to borrow big. Rachel Reeves is taking a leaf out of the European Union's book as she explores ways of getting around tight fiscal rules relating to national debt in order to spend more public money, a UK banking expert has claimed. Bob Lydon was commenting after the Chancellor travelled to North America last week to outline her vision for growth and bang the drum for a new national wealth fund, backed by £7.3 billion to catalyse further private investment. However, Mr. Lydon, the founder of Lydon Consulting Services, suggested her words masked an attempt to, in effect, fiddle the books. He told Express, according to the Office for National Statistics, ONS, the UK's national debt in June was 99.5% of the size of the economy, the GDP or gross national product, which is about £2.3 trillion. Rachel Reeves wants to spend more. Creating room and quickly requires some rebasing of the definition of the national debt, or creative accounting, such an approach was not so easy, Mr. Lydon pointed out. He explained, the ONS measure is public sector net debt, or PSND, which is already £500 billion lower than the common measure, general government gross debt, or GGGD. GGGD refers to all the debts of the central government, provincial and municipal authorities, and of government agencies which are not ultimately responsible for their own finances. In June, the UK's GGGD figure was £2.8 trillion. Mr Lydon warned, reducing this by netting off the value any publicly owned assets achieves nothing. Indeed their value is negative so including them makes the situation worse. Excluding the debts of central banks works for the EU, Eurozone national central banks owed one another £1 trillion outside GGGD at the end of 2023, through the TARGET2 payment system. However, any attempt to quantify the Bank of England's debt was confusing and extremely complex, Mr Lydon cautioned. <laughs>